Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, consumers are at risk of buying fake and poisonous products in the market in this country. It has ranked all the way from fake fertilizer, where by now someone is packaging soil, then sell it to the market as organic fertilizer. Some are mixing real fertilizer with the soil just to increase the quantity but the price is still same and now there's another video all the way from Gilgil whereby people are now in the market packaging sand and selling it as wheat flour they are now packaging some fluid there and they are selling it as cooking oil edible oil so it is flanking in the market so consumers are at risk of being exposed to such kind of things they are sabotaging production in terms of plants they are sabotaging you know what is in the market for consumption and that is what Kenyan people have been tweeted to under the watch of Kenya Kwanda administration. It is happening in Kenya. Watch this video shortly. Gilgil, what was Chunge? Where are the Mwagu? What was Chunge Gilgil? What was Chunge Gilgil? What was Chunge? Chunga of Pangwe, you know, Pakiwa. Nambua diniunga ngano Na mafuta mpaka imesiriwa bizuri Mpaka mafuta Imesiriwa kabisa Adi wanasema hini mafuta Why did you why? Do I reckon a whole one in the name? Lazima mpujue kubishi tao Hini mafuta Mpaka yende Ati hini mafuta Janako u janako u Mafuta ni mesiliwa Naumanika ni menengai Mwono makutana ni menengai Menengai Now we are continue this part of the discussion But just a quick request for those who are watching And you have not yet subscribed Please consider subscribing To our channel subscribers Thank you so much And again to all our viewers Please give this video a thumbs up Thank you so much And back to this discussion You see that product has been branded using company name that has a reputation. So in that way also, you are risking that company. Because once I buy a product, then I discover I bought fake product. I bought poison. I bought, you know, wrong product in the market. But the brand name, definitely, the company is going to be affected, not positively. The company is going to lose in a big way because once beaten, twice shy. Kisha umwa na nyoka, ukiona gamba na nyoka, unatoroka. So definitely, the company has to launch an investigation to understand who is doing so in their name. Because I'm sure that company name that has been used is not originating from the very same company. No. These are just crooks trying to use the company that has a good reputation in the market. That's why you see the kind they try to brand like that so that they also attract you as a customer because you already have confidence in the product since the brand is selling that's number one number two this product is cheaper compared to the original product of the company name 
So you find that that flower, it might be going for 150 shillings. The other one is for 200. This one will go for 150. Therefore, you attract more customers because it is affordable in the market. The other one seems to be much expensive compared to this. And because we're looking for cheap product, we end up in the hands of crooks. So, because of these two things, cheap product, uh, cheap, cheap price in the market, we talk about brand. People are being cheated. And this is not the first time. The other time, somewhere in Nairobi, someone was just feeling uh, jerkins of uh, uh, cooking oil with that water. So they will put like one liter of cooking oil in that jerrycan. The rest is going to be water. So you find they're selling it 1,000. The real product 2,000. It is happening in this country. But the question is, why is this increasingly happening in Kenya? This has been possible because the UDA, uh, UDA and the Kenya Kwanda administration under William Samuel Ruto they have encouraged such kind of characters. Why and how? This has started right away from the government itself because some of the products they have put in the market, it is bearing the brand of the government. It is coming from government institution. <coughs> NCPB. Talk about the fake fertilizer in the market. This fertilizer was packaged and stored at National Cereal and Produce Board, which is an institution in the hands of government. The product has the name and the logo of government. So it means it is a product that has been approved under the government. It has been approved by the government. So Ruto is aware that we have this kind of product in the market. Then when you buy that fertilizer, we shared so many videos here, you find that that fertilizer has been altered because it has been mixed with the sand. So you find that the quality has been compromised. Because someone is focusing on quantity. They want more in the market. That means when they fail to have subsidized fertilizer, they go and do this kind of things to compromise the quality just to fulfill the demand in the market. So, their problem is about demand and supply. There is high demand in the market, but there is shortage of supply. Because they cannot meet to subsidize fertilizer by buying it, then giving it at affordable price to the, to the uh, farmers. Because now, for it to be subsidized or affordable in the market, there should be two things. Readily available in the market and at the price of, uh, at a price whereby majority can afford since they don't have that, subs that subsidy fertilizer, since they cannot buy on behalf of farmers, they are cheating us with their stones. They have altered the quality. If this kind of character has been encouraged by the government, if they have been able to give to farmers such kind of fake fertilizer, tell me, what would the other people do? What about the private sector? In fact, now, the private sector seems to be more genuine compared to the government. You can trust the one that is coming from elsewhere than the one that is coming from the government. In Nikonologo Yasarekali, most at most time it is fake. To be fake up. So, the behavior has been encouraged by the government itself. That's why you see it has become possible 
that there will be a product in the market in the name of wheat flour bearing Cape's, uh, Cape's logo, but it is fake. It has been encouraged by the Kenya Kwanda administration. So this kind of thing is going to continue as long as the administration is also in fake business. They gave too much promises. They cannot fulfill the promises. Now they have to come with the fake results. And now this is how Kenyans are being exposed to danger. So we are not safe under this UDA administration. We are at risk of consuming poisons. We are at risk of consuming fake products. We are at risk of spending our money on fake products in the market. Sasa ni ambia mwenye nunuwa imu changa atakula nini? Assume that you are running a shop. Then you go and buy such kind of product in bulk. Are you going to make profit? In which way? Now what they delivered is only stones. It's sand. They are also killing business in this country. So small, medium enterprises are going to die because the administration has encouraged bad behaviors. And that's the story of Kenya Kwanda administration. This must just stop. <laughs>